What is up guys? Neil here back with a game review for uh, one of my favorite superheroes in the superhero universe and that is the game by Telltale Games, uh, Batman. So this is actually going to be an uh, initial review of episode 1 which is free to play uh, for Android and iOS and is also available for other platforms like the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and via Steam. Um, I'm not sure the price is there, but at least for Android and iOS, you can play the first chapter for free. Um, I already did play a little bit of the game to get used to the controls and the interaction, see what kind of where the game goes. So basically, you're playing the role of obviously Batman slash Bruce Wayne. You have um, the dual role of playing as Batman and fighting the criminal underworld and also playing or talking to the elite of Gotham City as Bruce Wayne. Um, so settings are pretty straightforward. You can um, choose where you're saving your files. So you have several slots if you want to save in different places. You can move your controls around a little bit as you need to adjust them. Um, you can set your audio and video settings of your master volume and things like that if you want subtitles on. So um, I'll do small subtitles and um, if you have a compatible version of Android in this case you can record your game as well. So I'll apply the changes there. Um, you have access to various videos and things like that, so um, you do need an internet connection for videos or reviews of the game. Um, codex, so you learn a little bit more about the various players in the game. Um, so you can learn about Thomas and Martha Wayne, Alfred, Harvey Dent, um, Catwoman or the Cat Burglar, and James Gordon. Um, you can also keep track of your various ach or achievements, so if you sign into Google Play Games, then you can um, keep track of that and um, have access to your leaderboards and that sort of thing as well. Um, so with that, um, I will also jump into, or I'll start jumping into the game. So episode one is called uh, Realm of Shadows. So um, it's an early look at politics and crime and getting used to what's going on in Gotham at the moment. So I will continue episode one. We've already met um, Harvey Dent, Carmine Falcone, Catwoman, or the Cat Burglar, or Alfred, and a few other characters, so um, I will be resuming there. Um, so we're also during the time of the uh, campaign of Harvey Dent for mayor. Um, so we have the um, speech of um, Harvey Dent, and the one cool thing about the game itself is that um, your choices when you have interactions with other characters will influence um, the result of the game. So um, various characters will remember what you're saying, the choices you make, the decisions you want to um, impact throughout the course of the game. So as you make various choices, then um, it will affect where you go um, from there. So. Um, this is one of those choices, so I'm going with a simple um, response to the speech of welcoming everyone to Wayne Manor, where this campaign is taking place. Um, so I think I've already played this part a little bit, but um, early on we also get a quick look at Batman swiping around to um, attack and things like that. So swiping up for uppercuts, down, left, and right, using double tap to do special moves. Um, the one thing, the other thing I like about the game as well is that, um, I like the graphics of the game. We kind of get a 3D bump look, so it's kind of like a 3D comic book effect. So it's like you're in a comic book. We get the frame around the uh, game as well, so, um, it's pretty nifty. I'm, I enjoy the smoothness of it, the textures and all of that. Um, it's not very polygonal, so that's good. It's, like I said, as if you're in a comic book. Um, so the game is pretty straightforward. You do have to navigate, um, as Bruce Wayne or, um, and as Batman. So you have to, you get to play that dual role and interact with everyone you generally know. So early on, you, I have already made Catwoman because you're trying to steal a particular device, which Catwoman gets to it first, but Bruce Wayne or as Batman gets it first. Um... So we get to make a, um, a cheesy slogan here. So I decided to go with put a dent in crime. Um, 
so we obviously get that Bruce Wayne is the biggest donor of Harvey Dent. So um, it actually also kind of mimics the events in, I believe it's the Dark Knight Rises or the Dark Knight, the second in the Christopher Nolan uh, Batman trilogy. So um, early on, I want to say that that's kind of where the um, game is going to take place. Um, the house also has that kind of look of the same era of uh, Wayne Manor from the Christopher Nolan Batman series. So um, if we're kind of getting, or if you kind of want that, or kind of want to get a time frame of the vibe, that's kind of the vibe I get. Um, so I think we'll also get um, an introduction to Selena Kyle. Um, these and so now we get the meetup of some old families of Gotham. So this is where we get that meeting of the old elite versus um, Harvey Dent and what he's trying to do as well. Um, so there's kind of no way to fast forward if you already played a portion of the game. So I thought it had already saved um, where it was where I had been. Um, you also have a countdown to how long you have to make a decision. So I guess silence will also make a difference. Um, in where you go with the game so overall it's pretty good um you can um or episodes two through four are also available for purchase but they do require uh or sorry not to require but um they're available for purchase but you can also buy it as a season pass so if you want a slight discount on buying all three um sequel episodes that can be done as well um but i do like the attention to detail so we had that lady walking in the background um and um we get the various um reaction and stern shots but it does kind of look or the basically the only thing here that we have some stiffness in some of the models but um overall it's not something that takes me really far out of the game um so um shortly you'll see in one of these choices memory serves you'll see that these guys that the um, these two people that Bruce Wayne's talking to like that you'll see they will remember that so you can keep track of things that as you say they'll remember stuff as you go along so later on in the game it will be affected so um you can play however you like but just remember that your choices will make a difference in how the game is played um so that's all I'm really going to spoil with the game I'm going to keep playing for a little while longer finish out the episode see where it takes me and um just play it out get used to the controls i know the swipe gestures um are a little bit um different than i'm used to so that whole swiping back and forth so i'm gonna give it a shot see if i can go back to the um beginning of the game see if um i can uh start the game from the beginning so let's um, see if I can um, go back to or use that as a, or a different slot to start over again. So start episode one. And here's and then one of the cool features is you can choose a color of Bruce Wayne's uh, text. So you can have blue, red, uh, yellow, or purple. Um, so I'll stick with the default blue and hit uh, continue and we'll be started off with the um initial or the uh, start of the game where a burglary is in progress at um city hall so you kind of um so you get a general idea of the crime rates um an introduction to the controls of swiping around who the characters are you know that something's going on um the weird relationship between Catwoman and batman so uh we have or they have already met previously so um there is a history there so kind of so we'll probably learn over the course of the episode or episodes um who they are and what's going on so uh we are at city hall we have um burglars who are going to show up right now um and shoot the guard and um, obviously they're after something and so we'll let this play out I can't exactly skip this introduction so that's the kind of the downside to that so if I wanted to replay it I'd have to go through all of this all over again
um, my initial thoughts were that these guys were part of maybe the um, Bane's gang or Red Hood gang, maybe something along those lines. Um, but they tripped the alarm, so obviously it's going to be the impetus for the police to show up and Batman to show up, and that Batman and the police ha still have a tenuous relationship. Um, the police department show up pretty quickly, so that's the only thing that kind of bugged me, but unless they intend for it to be a few minutes. Um, and so we do get the introduction of uh, Commissioner Gordon, which I'm assuming Commissioner, but we have James Gordon as a character in the game as well. Um, so we have pretty good um, graphics going on um, and continuing to go on in the um, game. And then Batman shows up requesting, um, or he's still friends with Jordan, so he's requesting times for him to do what he needs to do. And so these guys are still definitely scared of the Batman. They heard, they've heard the story, so they know that something's going to go on. Um, so here we're going to have a first attempt to get Batman across the way. So we're going to have him open his gun by touching the screen there like that. Um, touching the dot will allow him to shoot the gun. So they're telling you early on how to control things and um, how to move along. and Or control those things and move the character around. Um, so I don't know if it continues to the game, but it's one of those things where they tell you exactly what you need to do. So um, that's the initial sequence. So that's kind of a look at those early touch-based um, controls rather than swiping around, having an A and B controls, having a directional pad at the moment. Um, so now we have the other burglars realizing that something's going on and that Batman showed up. So um, we're going to have a little bit more controls here. Um, in a second as Batman tries to, or ba Batman takes out these other robbers. So swipe gestures will show up in a second or two. So like that swiping to the right has Batman running across the way um, very sneakily. Um, so we have Batman hiding out back there. So we're going to shoot the gun at the guy's foot. And then they tell you tap the dot to attack and we're going to have him pulled back. And we're going to have a guy falling down the elevator. These guys are obviously shooting at nothing, but Batman takes that chair. So those are some of the swipe gestures that are going on. Um, and then he's going to be taking out some more of these characters. So um, we're going to drop a smoke grenade down into behind between these guys. Um, give him some cover. So we're going to have him escape like that. And um, get rid of some more of these guys. So you get a general idea of what's going on here. So um, pretty smooth controls. I um, am not really used to them. So for example, if you press both prompts simultaneously like that, you don't have to touch the controls, I guess, as long as you're following the instructions. Um, you can do exact, or you can control exactly how you need to do based on the situation. So um, there's those controls to swipe so you can block the bullets, control your face, swipe up to control like that, swipe down to hit down, tap the controls for special, or tap with two fingers to control um, extra stuff. Um, and then we're going to have more hand-to-hand -hand combat here. So swiping up to block, swipe down to um, block, kick, and move around like that. So we're going to do some um, special moves here. So um swiping around will um help you attack and move those um so you get to do a finishing move like that so um that's the gist of the controls there so overall the game is actually pretty fun it has an intriguing storyline um and the game will auto save on your device as you go and if you create a telltale or account with, with telltale games you can save across um, devices. So if you have a smartphone and a tablet, then you can automatically sync your games that way as well. So um, overall, it seems like a fun game, enjoyable graphics, good 
um, visuals overall and good panning around, zooming, and transitions and things like that. So definitely worth checking out, and especially if you want to test out the first episode since it's free, you can play it and see if you like it. But that is all for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can uh, email me at headphonesdale at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at pateln one uh, you can find this review and every review on YouTube, uh, on YouTube at youtube.com slash pateln01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.